hi everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video we will solve some aptitude questions uh, which will be uh, which will be a mixture of, of maths and reasoning section and this will be helpful for your upcoming any competitive exam like dhs ayush and pnrd all these kind of exams okay so let's discuss the video so here the first question is from reasoning section okay so here it is written if ophthalmologist is uh, is to i then what will be the nephrologist okay so here the right answer will be ophthalmologist is the doctor of eyes okay the study of eyes is called ophthalmology and the doctor of eyes is called ophthalmologist so if ophthalmologist is the doctor for eye then nephrologist will be doctor for whom so nephrologist is called the doctor of kidney okay and the signs uh, that deals with kidney and kidney diseases okay uh, that will be called nephrology and the doctor is called nephrologist so here option number four is the right answer kidney is the right answer okay next one is uh, if tiger is the cub then what will be the correct answer among these four options okay so first of all we have to see what is the relation between these two tiger and cub so uh, cub is the little one of tiger okay the baby of tiger is called older baby tiger is called cub so if uh, the tiger is the bigger one or the cub is the smaller so the little one of elephant is called cub option number a is the right answer here next one is a question of uh, maths okay math section so here it is written uh, a can do a piece of work in 12 days and b can do it in 24 days so if uh, they started the work together then calculate the number of days to op to complete the work okay so it is very simple uh, so first of all we'll calculate the total work and the efficiency of a and b okay so to do this uh, we will write like a will complete in 12 days then b will complete in 24 days okay so if we take the lcm then we get uh, the lcm is to be 24 isn't it so 12 and 24 so here this is the total work okay so the efficiency of a will be two units per day and the efficiency of b will be one unit per day okay so what we have done here we have just divided the total work uh, that is this 24 by their individual working days like it takes 12 days that is we divided uh, this 24 by 12 and we got here this two okay that is the efficiency of a means the uh, work capacity of a in one day okay then similarly if we divide the uh, total work 24 by b's uh, total time so we'll get the efficiency of b so we got here uh, one okay so here it's asking if they started uh, the work together then calculate the number of days to complete the work so we'll add this okay a plus b which will be uh, two plus one okay so a does two units of work per day and b does one unit of per day then if they work together then per day they will work three units isn't it so if they can complete three units of the work per day then to complete the whole work that is 24 okay so to complete the work uh, they will require 24 by 3 that is 8 okay 8 days in total so 8 3 is a 24 so here the right answer will be option number one that is eight days next is again a question from math section so here it is uh, aditya purchased a cupboard for 1200 and sold it for 900 then what is his loss percent okay so we can see here if he had bought that uh, for 1200 and sold for 900 of course he is causing loss okay so uh, we'll go easily okay without using formulas like cpsp okay so he bought that for 1200 rupees okay and he sold it for 900 rupees so the loss we can see here is 1200 minus 900 will be equal to 300 isn't it and we have to calculate the percentage loss percentage so here it is the loss amount 300 and we'll have to check the loss percentage so we check profit or loss based upon which price of course cost price now so we'll check uh, 300 for 1200 okay which was the cost price okay so the loss percentage will be 25 percent okay so the loss percent will be 25 percent that is in our option number c okay 
next one is we will have to choose the following which is in ascending order okay so we'll check all these options from smaller to bigger number is called ascending order so here the right answer will be so here as we can see 0 0.65 0 0.76 0 0.67 so the series is not going in the right track again this one so this is not our right answer next one is again 0 0.65 0 0.86 then 0 0.67 that is again wrong so here yeah so option number c here we can see this is first one is uh, 0 0.65 then 0 0.67 then 0 0.76 and then lastly 0 0.86 okay so this is following the ascending order so option number c is the right answer here uh, insert the missing character so here a circle is given and inside there are some numbers so we'll have to first guess the logic and then uh, fill this uh, blank okay so here as we can see from this area here it is given one then this is 8 then 27 okay so how can we get these numbers so from 1 to 8 what we have done if we add a plus 7 so next it will follow the pattern okay because 8 plus 7 will be 15 but here it is given 27 so this logic is not correct uh, adding something so here the so 1 is the cube of 1 then what is 8 8 is the cube of 2 okay so 2 cube is equal to 8 and likewise if we see this 27 is 3 cube isn't it so let me write this is 1 cube okay so this is 1 cube 2 cube 3 cube then it will be 4 cube okay so 4 cube is equal to 64 okay next is find one word which cannot be formed from the letters of the given words using each letter only once okay so here a word is given uh, called the reasonable so the question is asking that which cannot be formed okay so pay attention this is asking for the negative one okay which cannot be formed so as you can see from these options we will quickly check the letters so here novel and -O -B -L -E, everything is available here then arson a r s o n e available so brain is the word so as we can see here there is uh, in this word reasonable there is no letter called i okay so i is not available here therefore brain will be the right answer because brain is containing b r a i n okay so here c is the right answer next question average to monthly pay average to here something is wrong i guess this two is not needed okay so here it is like uh, average monthly pay of five brothers is rupees 600 and if two brother gets a pay raise of rupees 100 then the new average pay will be so here it is saying that uh, five brothers are having uh, their monthly salary uh, as 600 rupees and uh, it is saying that if two brothers got a pay raise of rupees 100 so we'll use very less calculation okay we are not going to calculate the total uh, money because we don't need this since it is given here that the average uh, salary was 600 for these five boys uh, five brothers and two brothers uh, got a pay raise 100 okay so their uh, first average was 600 and what is the new addition only 100 rupees now so it is asking the new average for all the five brothers so only 100 rupees is increased so we'll divide this 100 among this uh, five brothers so each will get 20 20 isn't it so earlier their uh, average was 600 and by increasing 100 they will get 20 20 each because five brothers will have share this 100 so their new income will be 620 of course so the right answer is rupees 620 option number a is the right answer next one is it is given if rupees 2600 is divided among the persons a b and c in the ratio 1 by 2 is to 1 by 3 is to 1 by 4 respectively then how much b gets okay so here it is given like uh, this a is to b is to c that is in the ratio half then your 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 okay so let us first equalize these ratios okay so if we multiply 12 because the lcm of 2 3 and 4 will be 12 okay so if we multiply 12 with each of these numbers okay so the new ratio will be this will be 6 then this will be 4 and this will be 3 are you getting my point 
this uh, ratio is given in a fraction okay so we'll have to equalize this by multiplying the lcm with this okay so that we can get a round figure so the lcm for this will be 12 okay 12 will be multiplied with all of them okay so then uh, the ratio of a will be 6 then the ratio of b will be 4 and the ratio of c will be 3 okay so what is the condition the condition is that uh, the shares in total will be of 2600 rupees okay so whatever the shares a b and c uh, get this will equalize to 2600 rupees so let us equalize the shares uh, in terms of ratios so here the ratios will be equal to 6 plus 4 plus 3 will be equal to 13 ratios okay why we are doing so because it is saying that 2600 is to be divided among a b and c okay so this is the respective ratio so the 13 will be the total ratio okay so we don't require the share of a and c we just require the share of b so we'll uh, write the ratio of b that is 4 divided by the total ratio that is 13 into 2600 okay so this will go 200 times so this will be 800 okay so the share of b will be 800 where it is it is in option number B, okay. So option number B will be the right answer. The share of B will be 800 rupees, okay. So it is a question of uh, this direction and distance, okay. The mesh walks 10 km in front and 10 km to the right, okay. Then every time turning left, he walks 5 km, 15 km and 15 km respectively. Uh, so this line means uh, he had uh, turned three times and every time he turned left okay and the kilometers are of course different given here so how far is he now from the starting point so here let us first suppose a point called r because uh, this is uh, ramesh so let us suppose ramesh works from this r point okay suppose this from r point he works 10 km in front so in front means if he is standing here in point r so he will be walking like uh, towards north we can take so suppose this point he walked for 10 km okay then after going to this point this arrow mark where it is given he turned right so again he will go 10 km right this time he is here okay at this point here so the next then every time turning left so then he turns left okay so if he is going towards this line so his left will be in the upper side isn't it by this side okay so he had turned five kilometer so this is suppose in this uh, this is five kilometer then again he turned left okay so this time so the left will be by this side okay so he had walked for 15 kilometer now so since uh, we can see here up to this to this this is 10 kilometer and he walks five kilometer more so this will be a little longer line than the previous one okay then again he turns left it is saying because it is saying every time turning left okay so lastly he walks again 15 kilometer so if he is at this point then from the here left will be towards the south okay so he will walk for 15 can you see this line so here because uh, from here to this much this is 5 okay and then this is 10 okay this one is 15 earlier now he is at this point okay finally he is at this point so it is asking uh, how far is he now from the starting point so he had started from this point r now so we'll have to calculate the distance of this point and this r point so this area okay so this area will be of how much as you can see if we extend this line from up to this much so this will be 10 plus this one will be 5 that's why this whole line is 15 okay so this area is equal to this area since I am drawing in a free hand, so it's not looking like equal. So here the right answer will be for 5 km. Which is in option number second one. This one. So 5 km will be the right answer.